Ja und somit herzlich willkommen zu diesem neuen Reaction Video hier auf dem Kanal. An der Ubisoft Forward wurde natürlich auch viel Neues zu Assassin's Creed Mirage gezeigt. Da gab es ein paar neue Trailer und beim Teaser wurde ja schon versprochen oder gesagt, dass man Back to the Roots will. So ein bisschen wieder Richtung Assassin's Creed 1, 2, 3 und so weiter. Und passend dazu gibt es jetzt hier ein Video das vor drei Wochen online ging, mit dem Titel Zurück zu den Wurzeln. Mal schauen, was uns hier so erwartet und was das Ganze verspricht. Ich habe das Ganze noch nicht gesehen, von daher bin ich selber gespannt und ich würde sagen, wir tauchen da gleich mal ein. Let's go! Ich bin gespannt. Assassin's Creed Mirage. A return When to the we roots. got the opportunity to work on the next game of the series, we sat down with the rest of the core team and asked ourselves, as fans, what kind of Assassin's Creed game we'd most want to play. Many of us felt the desire to revisit some of the old imagery, narrative theme and gameplay that made us fall in love with the series. After 15 years of journeys across the ages, from the Third Crusade with Altair to the Viking expansion ja with Ivor, we wanted to go back Teile. closely to where it all began and pay homage to the beginnings of Assassin's Creed. Coming up Valhalla, we started to explore the idea of introducing a new playable Bisha. hero, Basim, and creating an experience that is a love letter to the origins of the franchise. Coming of age story with revamped mechanics to bring the feel of the early games into the modern day. We are going back to the Middle East, but this time in 9th century Baghdad, 300 years before the time of Altair. We are telling the story of Basim and how he became a master assassin. We look at the first AC games and started to wonder what exactly defined the assassin experience to us. And from there, we put all our effort into bringing our take on the assassin fantasy. Parkour. As a hidden one, parkour is a key pillar to the experience. With Baghdad as your playground, we are bringing the action back to a urban environment. For parkour, we look to our previous games for inspiration and just to put the emphasis on comfort and fluidity. In Mirage, parkour is easy to learn and to master. Our approach is closer to the SEO games, where it's all about keeping the flow and the momentum going, with the design centered around verticality. Many elements from past games are making a return. We have the corner swing, the ability to vault over objects, elevators to quickly reach high ground, but nice. also new ingredients such as the pole vault, allowing you to cross large gaps between two rooftops. Of course, Basim is faster and more agile than Ivor was, and to keep that feeling, we worked our animations to reinforce the sense of speed when jumping, vaulting, and free roaming. Streets are narrower, denser, and packed with obstacles to navigate. By choosing the right path through the environment, you can move from street level to the rooftops in a blink of an eye, a useful skill for any assassin. Stealth. Another core focus of Mirage is stealth. We want players to work in the shadows, plan their next move, strike, and then vanish. There are more ways to assassinate, with new killing animations, some leveraging a stealthy approach, others delivering a violent killing blow. We also have direct throwbacks to the first games with moves like the bench assassination that you might recognize from AC2, or the kill from the rooftop gardens, an old favorite of Altair's. We want to encourage you to be sneaky. Basim has been trained to fight by the hidden ones, but for him, combat is a last resort and his main approach is to hunt and strike while remaining unnoticed. We also reworked our enemy AI to improve detection and vanishing loops, making our behaviors more responsive and readable. New enemy archetypes will also increase the stakes. The marksman can shoot your eagle and prevent you from using it. The spearman pokes through haystacks. Okay. And the bearer can call for reinforcements. That's where your assassin skills come in handy. During his training in Alamut, Basim learns the ways of the creed from his mentor, Roshan, and his fellow hidden ones. We get to see him learn the tenets and philosophies that will guide him through his missions, like hiding in plain sight. Social stealth is making a return. We are bringing back the systemic blending with larger crowds that allow you to move undetected through the business location. But you can Ach, also gut. bribe small factions with kommt. specific tokens in order to control AI groups and make your way through guarded areas. 
as an assassin, your core mission is to track down and eliminate the order of the ancients and free back that of their influence. In our game, the Hidden Ones have established a network of bureaus across the city to keep an eye on the order. The bureaus in Mirage act as gameplay hubs, from which you can take on side contracts with various objectives, from rescue missions to assassinations and help the Hidden Ones in their fight for freedom. We want you to feel truly immersed in the life of a Hidden One, investigating your target's identities, tracking their movements and sharing information with your allies. Then, when the time is right, you can strike from the shadows. We've crafted a new investigation board which replaces our most recent quest log in Mirage. And with our black box missions, we give you the freedom to approach key assassination missions however you see fit. We know how excited our community is. We also have a nice surprise for our long timers. We implemented a nostalgic visual filter as an option for those who wish <laughs> to explore the game with a desaturated blue-gray color palette from the very first AC game. This is a project laid by a team of passionate people who have their very own vision of the Assassin experience in mind. There is much to come, and we can't wait to unveil more about Basim's journey. I think there will be a lot of people who will be able to reach it. And they will be able to get to the new games and the old games. And they will be able to get to the new games. I think that will be very good. Aber Ubisoft ballert ja sowieso Spiele raus, die einfach nur gut sind. So finde ich zumindest. Immer Ansichtssache. Aber da bekommt man wirklich Lust, wieder Assassin's Creed zu spielen. Und ich habe noch viele Spiele vor mir. <lacht> ähm, ja. Soll ich vielleicht mal anfangen mit dem ersten? Mal schauen. Aber wie gesagt, da hoffe ich ja immer noch auf ein Remake, das wirklich ein bisschen sehr in die Jahre gekommen ist. Und ich bin da mit der Schon nicht ganz klar gekommen, als ich das mal angefangen habe. Aber wir werden ja sehen, ob ich das irgendwann mal hier auf dem Kanal raushauen werde. Aber das sieht ziemlich gut aus, was hier passiert mit Mirage. Von daher würde ich sagen, sehen wir uns beim anderen Video wieder. Und bis zum nächsten Mal. Haut rein. Tschüss.